Okie dokie. My seat has an issue lately that it just slowly sinks. Whatever mechanism locks it into whatever height you set is unfortunately no longer quite as robust as it once was. So especially if I do like a, a plop down, yeah, like immediately went <laughs> down a, a good couple centimeters there. But just over time, if you see me slowly getting shorter, I mean, at least Let's Bath Cow be a bit more at the start of the show, which I'm always happy about, letting my friends shine, but okie dokie. Need to hit some lucky item drops, would definitely prefer that, um, but we'll have to see how it all goes down. A gauntlet, hey? Eh? I think I will use magic mapping, especially since... Turns out we're exceptionally far away from it. Let's just head down and we'll try to get perfect that stairwell here. And if I could just get some poison stacks on our roly poly friend, that should be wonderful and perfect. Even get some more large stones out of the endeavor. Ooh, and I will grab heal wounds before heading in, seems like a good decision and okie dokie drop some of the useless stuff scrolls of amnesia we're probably never really going to use a bunch of these rings we can drop inside if need be um not sure i'll id while we're out here two scrolls of acquirement okay i mean i guess it was kind of Forecasted a bit by the fact that we got so many rare scrolls early on instead of the teleport that we desperately needed at the time Okay, let's see what you have available to us Holy moly What Oz you were saying <laughs> just need some lucky item drops plus 11 gold dragon scales of infinity I mean see invisible is nice and plus five is useless. So these aren't better than just a kind of standard gold dragon scales but for all intents and purposes on a troll that's pretty much the luckiest thing we possibly could have found ourselves with so let's make sure double check triple check that i'm grabbing the right item here okay and what else have you got for me tower shield of reflection manual of evocations i mean tower shield of reflection is incredible Something we, we would want for late game. Do I care enough now? I mean, evocation manual would be pretty huge too. You know what? I think I will grab it. That's something to look forward to. But okay. Swap into these. AC is now looking good. Resistances are looking good. Holy moly. How quickly the turns table. Okay. Now, in before we just immediately die to the Minotaur, <laughs> that's fine. We'll uh, we'll figure it out. We can at least explore. We can see what lies in store for us. There is another requirement scroll, which I would love to get my paws on. I mean, we have some amount of fire resistance. Should be able to murder these buddies pretty dang quickly as well. We make it through there. Then we just have to survive through the shadows. We have seen visibility. Get a blinking scroll out of it. So that's all pretty big stuff. I'm trying to see. This is just a baby ring. Amulet would be nice to get sorted early on here. And just have to fight some elephants to get it. That seems doable. I hate how doable this all seems. Because I'm very concerned that I'm overlooking something incredibly obvious i guess we don't need willpower so let's swap out of willpower into just slightly more ac i guess i could go more strength we do that unarmed combat is about 44 it's 167 percent scaling off of strength if i get another six strength to go up another four damage 182 percent versus four ac Doesn't seem horrible. Definitely take care of the crab just so we're not constantly fighting in fire clouds. Wait a second. No, I don't care if we're fighting in fire clouds. 
Oh, Quaslal, how quickly I forget how incredible you are, my friend. Plus eight, evening star of the snake pit. Heavy, resist electricity, RN, willpower, in plus three. An incredible weapon. But we did set out very specifically on this run with unarmed in mind. And so I think we will say nay, as it were. And said, I guess just gold. Manual of stealth, I will not use. As a Quasal follower, I mean, in general, as an tr unarmed troll fighter, probably wouldn't find much use in stealth, but as a Quasal follower, basically just good as kindling for starting fires. That manual. Um, so I guess we used up all of our luck on the first couple of acquirement, which I'm not going to complain about. Even just the first one, really. Getting that gold dragon scales is so absolutely incredible on a troll character. In fact, what else, I feel kind of bad because I, I don't think we're given the best uh, example of an unarmed troll here by just getting stupidly lucky early on. I guess that's sometimes what it takes. But, yeah, I think we'll go for the, the amulet. Is that there next? Oh, right, good point. Don't need the, the net trap. Let's try to kill this buddy first so we at least have an escape path and then we should be able to uh, to go through. Nice miss the scale drop. Yeah, our first acquirement scroll gave it to us. Plus 11 gold dragon scales. So again, not something that's a, a reliable strategy, a reliable plan for making it through with a troll here. But I can't really say no to it either. Okay, let's not immediately die to a Minotaur, shall we? No promises, but okay. Just regular chainmail and a halberd of protection. I should be able to take you. It's going to be closer than I would like. We'll use one heal wounds just to uh, play it safely. And let's see. Wait a second, what got the pickup slot there? I was trying to like, hopefully pay attention as to what we're picking up. Two scrolls of butterflies, gained one, so no. Roots we already had, gained some. Wand of flame, there we go. That's the, the new new that we got from this pile. Nothing really else that we, we need there, but that's totally fine. I will definitely wear the guardian spirit amulet that we got in that uh, gauntlet. And okay, we're coming out of this feeling stupidly comfortable <laughs> again maybe not uh, completely deserved experience oh gosh and this hydra is gonna show us what for if I can just get out into the clouds that at least gives us some recourse because once again we don't want to start chopping heads off too too quickly here and I can kind of just dance around, stay on the other side of my clouds. Kind of abuse the fact that enemies, you know, care about their own safety, which normally would be great for you, Hydra Pal. In this specific uh, specific configuration, it does just give me some free real estate. So that's fantastic. I guess what we could do is get some large rocks. Then I don't care about chopping off heads because you're pretty much already taken care of and that is wonderful stuff and yes definitely walk through the pain move through the barbs there just to finish off our, our manticore friend and not too shabby definitely should be ready to go for for lair maybe I even want to do work first I mean I don't have the best willpower but we can pretty easily change that swap away from our strength rings even just double up on willpower potentially seems pretty solid to me in fact i'll may preemptively do that so take off the strength go double willpower rings and one percent chance of banishment that's definitely what we like to see so that's perfect just focus down elroca um, I actually should not have killed that sorcerer quite so quickly because I'm now kind of curious 
as to just how well we'd resist their paralysis, you know, for research for our future endeavors here, but that's fine. Does troll regen go up with the levels at all? I don't believe so. Definitely if anyone in the, the chat knows better than I, correct me, but as far as I'm aware, it is a, a flat regen. Yes, there's a pretty quick way to uh, to at least attempt to get a short answer here. I look into the wiki, see if it's back online, because I know it's been down a couple of times these last few. But regeneration one. So yeah, it looks like they get a flat 0.8 HP per turn boost to their their regeneration, and that's consistent across the entirety of the run. So that, I feel like, is definitely part of why they begin to fall off as you get into the later stages of the game. Regeneration, of course, still incredible. Let's not uh, misinterpret that. I should be slightly more cautious against an Etten. Okay. Take them down. That's actually been the... Uh, the downfall of quite a few characters, especially in the Great Player series. In fact, it might have been one of our trolls. I feel like one of our trolls died embarrassingly to an edit in depths. So, permanently scarred for that. But hey, the flip side is that does mean that it at least comes to mind as a an important consideration, and we do manage to keep ourselves relatively safe using the, the curari there to just slow them down enough that we can take full advantage of our our own speed and then let's just blast through all these sons of guns finally get in a hat that we're allowed to wear from gastronox so thank you my snail friend um does look like we need to free up just a wee bit more inventory space i guess i probably should have dropped the willpower ring since we don't need three of them um that will never really come into to play here unless something has drastically changed in the recent versions of the game without me noticing and you can suddenly put rings on extremities other than fingers shall we say but i don't believe that that's a, a consideration we need to take into account for today and we should be able to blast our way through the entirety of lair i mean part of this and on this run, part of the ease will be the fact that we got so lucky with the gold dragon scales. But I will say, in general, Lair is not where I'm starting to worry on my trolls. Generally killing all the regular enemies, being slightly worried about hydras. But hopefully by this stage in the game you have some large rocks. Bit of throwing training. Alternatively, I guess if you have evocations training with a nice selection of wands. And that's also a pretty good option for you. And most likely, the majority of trolls are going to be kind of just blitzing their way through lair without too, too much of a care in the world. S branches, even not too bad, though maybe where the pain just begins to creep in. And then it's usually when you finish off your first two runes, getting ready for vaults or depths. Excuse me. Random hiccup slash burps. It's weird how often I seem to get a weird conflation of the two. Uh, but once you're getting into vaults and depths, that's where things start to get a little bit close to the wire, a little bit hairy. Uh, there we go. Now's our chance to drop the, the third willpower ring. Fantastic. Okie dokie. And that should be just about it for that floor. Let's keep on keeping on a wave of frost i'm probably not going to go out of my way for nice caves only have two magic mapping but i would definitely still be more than happy to uh to check it out if we do just happen to to find it through natural causes we do get very distant message so i'm going to immediately Reverse directions here, throw on the brakes, and head over this way. Ah, there we go. Probably should have been paying a little bit more attention, but there, once again, we can use the throne training that we've brought upon ourselves here 
mixed with the large stones, that does some incredible work. And even Death Yaks, we're able to just smash that tab key and burn our way through all these Sons of Guns. We keep getting kind of distant, very distant messages regarding the ice cave. So maybe that means we're pretty close to the right area. I'll head up this direction. No. Okay, maybe it was down below. I'm trying to remember exactly where we were standing when we got the distant message. You know, it's not looking great for our chances of actually making it in oh no okay there we go distance so so i would want to say bottom right and in fact there she is fantastic uh troll leather armor let's stop kidding ourselves can immediately drop that gold dragon scales will be our main squeeze until the end of time itself and probably drop stones at this point and yeah again have some trash that we could get rid of once we're in here so Let's just go full bore, shall we? Usually the lair ice caverns aren't too, too bad. And we definitely luck out this time around getting the kind of beastly approach. Um, don't, let's please take me the other way. Auto explore. Thank you. And we don't need to worry about the clouds spawned and all the ice clouds, which is usually the most dangerous part of ice statues. And so no real issues whatsoever. And oh boy, look at that. Just burning through the experience levels here. Again, this kind of goes into why we were making mention earlier as to why spellcasting was never an option. Minus five aptitude is real rough. Maybe that would be an extreme challenge run at some point, but that's like, mummies on crack when it comes to the difficulty so what do we wish to do instead we could start training some armor normally at this wouldn't be the stage in the, of the game in which i start to train that but again not the the average run going on more evocations doesn't seem horrible or invocations i should say though invocations or <laughs> evocations is right behind that Oh, there's got to be a good tongue twister out there with the two that just scrambles my brain. Turns out, don't even need a tongue twister, I guess. Brain is already scrambled, so... Regardless, we'll throw on quite a, a few things there. Since there's no, no one skill that I'm in desperate need of at the moment. And look at that. Ice Giant does bring us a little bit closer to uh, self-destruction than anything we faced in the run up until now. But fortunately, nothing we can't handle. I mean, we don't get a lot out of this ice cave in terms of tangible upgrades, but it's still a decent amount of experience points and more, uh, I guess, player experience as well in me piloting good old trundle here and making sure that we're keeping on the up and up again and that is fantastic yeah bank account looking quite lovely especially with the influx that we got from wearing um or from grabbing gold from that last acquirement scroll so that's pretty huge we get the ring of the tortoise here which i think i'll just throw on rather have a little bit of additional AC over the additional damage that we get from the strength ring so that seems like a decent little trade-off there and that should be the worst that we have to deal with here in the lair it's not guaranteed you never know when things are going to take a a swift turn for the terrible but as things go should be all right here. Amulet of Faith, no thank you. It's not horrible with Quasla. Um Oh, there we go. Okay, here's something that could actually ruin our life. Sonya with a distortion weapon. If I can hit you with a couple stones, we're kind of in this. I guess what I should have done was rooted you in place slightly earlier. And in fact, now I have a 79% chance to hit you. Or you just died to our... Our clouds, that's fine too. Thank you, Quasla. 
I guess I should have taken that one into account as well, is that fortunately elemental clouds are completely undodgeable, so Sonya doesn't stand too much of a chance. Dream Sheep is kind of our perfect matchup. They'll surround us after putting us to sleep, and they'll immediately all succumb to the, the fire and the flames. And okay. Yeah, normally wouldn't necessarily jump immediately into layer 5. Oh, <laughs> as I spam the tab key without paying any attention to what's going on. Keep adding heads to this Hydra. Whoopsie daisies. Not the end of the world, though. We're able to take them down. Hello, Sky Shark, my lovely new friends. Fortunately, not a heck of a lot any of you can do to us here today. I don't remember. Can my fireclads from Quasal start forest fires? If so, then uh, it's truly just irresponsible for us to go anywhere near the, the forest. But we'll, we'll see. Unfortunately, sometimes needs must. Even if that is mostly us just lying to ourselves to get what we want out of the equation, as humans are so off to do and so incredible at. Yeah, even a pack of death yaks, not the end of the world. Slow it down a little bit against the cattle plebis just to make sure I'm not accidentally calcifying in the middle of a bad situation but perfect definitely seems to be some kind of abyssal influence going on here so it's the abyssal forest and but shouldn't be anything too too far out of the ordinary i do love the trees that grow in the abyssal forest very very cool motif and fortunately my brain is still paying the slightest bit of attention because this Spriggan does have a distortion weapon, so let's try not to uh, find ourselves on a sudden, potentially one-way trip to the Abyss, shall we? That's at least the, the plan, the dream, and all of that good stuff. Oh, gosh darn it. As I walk immediately into a distortion brand. Scorpion, uh, not Scorpion, Spriggans is what we call you. Once again here though, great work me. 48% um, chance to hit you with a beam of light. I'll reach out and grab you. And once more for good measure. Plus four in your protection, no thank you. We've strangely enough outgrown that by this stage. Okay, and I wasn't really paying attention. There we go. Now I get turned to stone. Great job, Basilisk. Definitely puts a little bit of the the fear into us right at the end of layer five. Holy moly. Well, can't complain about any of that so far. Beautiful stuff. The question becomes, what do we wish to do next? I'll probably head out to the regular dungeon, finish off the last few floors, and then spider shoals. Shoals could give us a nice influx of large stones. I guess we have the poison resist for spiders, so shouldn't be too, too worried. But either, still concerned. You know, we still want to take a base level amount of safety into account and not do anything too incredibly stupid, but we can at least feel decent about our odds in both those branches here. Hello Ladul, my friend. And Snorg as well. Fortunately, the uh, Cattle Plebis might actually help us out more than anything. Never mind. I've checkmated myself, backed myself into a corner. Great work, me. Ooh, never mind. Wasn't quite enough calcification to become a problem. Snorg, on the other hand. Oof, brother. Just calcified enough, you son of a gun. So, okay, let's not spam tab as fast as we possibly can. Oops, be slightly cautious. There we go. 
just to make sure that we're not trapping ourselves in a one wide corridor against a Cataplebis, because that is generally where things can start to get a little bit sketchy. And sure, I'll pick up this potion. In fact, we're back to having a decent number of ID scrolls, so probably a good time to get a few of these bad boys ID'd, as well as freeing up that inventory slot from the ID scrolls themselves. And that is perfect. 15% chance of banishment. I don't feel too, too horrible about that. And there we go. Cloud's definitely helping out with the huge slew of enemies coming our way. Minus 12 corrosion. Still not quite enough to get us to kick the bucket. Fantastic. Probably could have played that one a little bit better. Gosh, darn it. Accidentally read a butterfly scroll instead of ID. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you rush Terensky. Hopefully, that's not the, the be-all end-all. <laughs> Most of the butterflies just immediately die to our clouds. Are you... Oh, gosh. Kerki. I don't know if I can keep... Nobody look. <laughs> Unfortunately, these, these pigs might have to suffer fate that I otherwise wish to save them from. And I guess I shouldn't even call them pigs, since that is not, in fact, what they really are. Hopefully, this next time we can maybe isolate Kirki a little bit more. Please, I'm surrounded by clouds of death. Do not come near me, my friends. Okay, quickly, before the innocents die, then walk away. Run away from the innocents. Because our clouds still will hurt them, unfortunately. But that is fine. We do manage to get through only committing cold-blooded murder on the one friend. So not the end of the world. That was a pretty strong shapeshifter. Holy moly. This is a one-time teleport trap, is it? And then we can just bring me back. Okay, doesn't look like we actually missed too, too much at the end of the day. But that is wonderful. Then let's just continue down to the final floor of the regular dungeon here. Sixty-six or eighty-eight? Eighty-eight. Okay. Good reminder that we're not invincible because I do feel like I've been far too al far along that uh, general train of thought still can bleed can be injured so let's be slightly cautious here shall we <laughs> oh geez louise better to have a reminder like that than some of the alternative situations that we might find ourselves in so i will gladly take that Ooh, and a kite shield of fire resistance don't mind if i do Another thing we want to keep in mind is that we probably will be training some more shields at some point, trying to swap up to that kite shield, not only because it will give us really solid shield score, but that reflection very well could make the, uh, the difference in a future encounter. Unfortunately, the ugly things decide to take the fire flavor here which is one of the things that we're best suited against so that is perfect and with that we have our entrance to depths open and available don't plan on going down anytime incredibly soon here but will eventually be very very nice in fact just strictly necessary <laughs> so i don't know why i couch it with uh indirect language and bounce around the point because we will indeed need that at some point moving forward but there we go regular floors all cleaned up so it is time for s branches so again shoals or spider what do i feel better with 